Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I can happily say we're on a much better note compared to the last video that I uploaded that I was really sad and everything that I talked to you guys about if you watched it. Well, I wanted to wait a few days to film until I was feeling a lot better as I'm feeling now. And just because I don't want to give you all the time like bad, like not bad vibes because talking about how you feel is not a bad vibe but I wanted to be on a better note and I'm just gonna start prepping my face. Uh, today we are using all the Pinker Times Ahead products from Too Faced and I am using a primed and poreless powder. This is a wishful thirst trap juice which i love it's a very good hyaluronic acid serum if you're looking for one uh it's one of the best ones i've tried and um oh let me try to put my camera on do not disturb wait there we go all right so um what was i saying yeah it's one of the best ones so so this prime and poreless thing it's a powder that you apply. I'm using a clay multi-cream. It's a really good, nice moisturizer that smells like a forest. It smells delicious. Um, you're supposed to apply this primer before or after your foundation, but we're gonna try today to apply it before the foundation and hopefully it will not cake up into a ball. So this is what it looks like. Um, they have the liquid one, but I was really intrigued by this powder one. The packaging is beautiful, as I think Too Faced always does a great job with their packaging. Let me clean my nails because I was doing masks on my face, and my nails are full of masks. I forgot to wash my nails with my little brush that I always have to wash my nails, to brush my nails. So we're gonna try this little powder. It comes with its little beautiful heart powder puff, which, wait, how do you, I guess you go like this. This is a little powder puff that it comes with and it's really nice. It's, look at, look at it, it's just gorgeous. But anyways, we're gonna try to apply it under foundation and see what happens. I'm using a very light brush, but all right. I'm I'm scared of adding a powder before adding my foundation because I don't know how this is going to go. As you guys can tell, I have some hormonal acne and I know it's hormonal because I've never had acne before. I've never suffered from acne before and my hormones are out of whack and I know that because my period was gone for like eight months and then it came like three times in one month and this is TMI for a lot of you guys i'm sorry but like that's just the truth so i'm just being um i'm just being a patient with my skin and obviously i need to go to get myself checked and make sure that everything is okay i just i'm really not into taking hormones or anything so i don't really want to take a hormonal replacement or whatever they give you but if you guys have tried something that works for you, please let me know, like for hormonal acne, because it's not about the products that you put under your skin. I mean, on top of your skin, it's more gonna be about what your body is doing because your skin is our largest, or largest organ and it just reacts to what is going on inside. So you can't really control that 100%. Like skincare is just a very small portion of what our skin looks like so i'm using the stay naked quickie 24 hour it's it says it's a concealer but it's like a concealer and foundation in one and i've actually tried it like two or three times and i really like it i think the shade is perfect for me i mean it's a little bit paler than i am but once we add the bronzer and all that it will be fine I'm not gonna add too much under my eyes because I'm adding concealer afterwards, which is also from Too Faced. I'm, I'm trying to use almost all Too Faced. The only thing I don't have is the lip stuff and the mascara, but oh, this actually does look way paler than I am. So hopefully that bronzer will make me look um, 
I'm like I'm back to life again because I look like a ghostly ghost right now. My face is a little bit red because I've been masking, um, like multi-masking. And I also try a lot of products and that's because this is what I do. Like I like to treat people's, well, it's not that I like, that's, this is like kind of like my side job. Like I already started studying. I just enrolled in a university to learn more about skincare and makeup. And I'm pretty excited, but I'm pretty nervous because I haven't studied since I was 23 was the last year. I started four years of university and I didn't graduate. I was missing six months and I didn't graduate. My dad got sick and um, I also ended up in rehab, so I couldn't go back. I'm using the Born This Way uh, ethereal light concealers and I'm mixing them well I'm not gonna mix them this is the butter croissant shade let's see how dark or light yeah it's a little dark so I'm gonna mix both shades um mm, I'm thinking like should I even apply this because like what's the point of applying this one if it's darker it's just this would be like an actual better shade than this one that I got in vanilla wafer but clearly I didn't hit the right shade in any of the two but I wanted a darker one to like even out the tone of this really really light one so I'm just gonna do my usual concealer spawning like where I do which is always like around the jawline I'm gonna do I don't I can't really see if I have spots um I don't have my mirror with me so I'm just gonna spot treat, well not spot treat, but spot conceal the little spots that I'm missing. I mean, that I have from redness from the acne. And obviously I always go down with a lighter shade down the bridge of my nose, adding a little bit here, a little bit here. And as Wayne Goss just showed me, adding a little bit here and always under the nose because I always get a little redness around the nose so i really hope this brown singer is gonna help me look a lot tanner because i look so pale right now it could also be the lighting because i don't think i look that pale in person i don't look as pale in person actually it's probably the lighting i usually like to use natural lighting but the lighting today was coming from this side, so it was just showing like one shade. Like it was like shading my face. So I was like, well, I can't really uh, do it this way. Let's see if maybe if I lower oh, the lighting on this ring. Uh, I turned it off. Okay, I think I'm even going to turn it off and just keep the background lighting that I have because I do have other two panels. I finally got lighting, you guys. After all this time that I told you that, I was like, oh, it's because I have horrible lighting, this stupid thing. Like, it made me so mad that I just couldn't film the videos the way I wanted to because I had a tiny little ring light that was a piece of little crap and it didn't really do much for the lighting situation. So, um, I'm gonna get my brow dust done first, you guys, because I hate seeing myself without brows. So, um, let's see, let's kind of brush them out a little bit first. And the brow thing I'm using is not from Too Faced. I don't even know, does Too Faced have brow? Th yeah, Too Faced has brow things, I'm sure, yes. But anyways, this is from She Glam. I always talk about it because it's, probably my favorite brow pencil at the moment and i always get it in the shade taupe because i got the shade light brown i bought a few of them and i thought it was going to be perfect and it was actually too dark for my face for my features i'm usually a lot blonder you guys um i just haven't dyed my hair in a long time and i'm gonna be a blondie soon i'll probably go to get my hair done this week and I'll be back to being a blondie queen. Um, I like myself with both shades, you know, like 
brown and blonde but i just feel like my features look better when i'm blonde because um i have like a smallish face not small face but like um i don't i don't know i don't know i just i just since i was younger i went kind of blonde just a little bit lighter because i wasn't gonna go full blonde when i was young but I, when I was like 16, I went kind of blondish and um, and I liked it and I just think I look better when I'm blonde, but that's just a personal preference, you know? Some people might think they look a lot better with red hair, for example, there was a time, do you guys know this mist that you, it's called sun in and it's this mist that you mist on your hair and it's supposed to lighten the hair on your hair. The hair on your hair? The hair on your on your head. But I used to use it on my little arm hairs to like lighten them up. Now I don't really have that many. But like anyways, the thing is, if you have really dark brown hair, like I have I had lighter hair when I was younger, but at that age I already had my dark hair when I was like 15 like for example and i decided instead of just my mom would kind of like mist it sometimes around my hair and it would get a little blondy and it would look really cute i'm going in with a nat chocolate soleil natural this is their new cocoa infused bronzer it's, it looks very different from the last one look at this beautiful packaging um it probably works very similarly. Oh God, let's see if I can get to open this. So I decided to pour a whole bottle of that thing on my hair and tan. This is what it looks like, natural soleil chocolate, natural chocolate. I decided to pour a whole bottle of that thing on my hair. I was with a friend and we were tanning before I knew the whole thing about using sunscreen, you know, back in, the, it's most delicious. Back in the day, the the cool thing was to be like bronzed, you know. You remember those days if you're um, if you're a millennial like I am. Am I a millennial? Wait, what? What is it? Yeah, I'm a millennial, right? I'm from '92. Anyways, yes, this is bronzing my face pretty well, so this will be all right. We will be all right. But I'm gonna bronze actually not just on my cheekbones. I'm gonna bronze bronze like all around my face because um because I don't want there to be such a big contrast between the bronzer and the rest of my face so anyways once I get up to go to the bathroom after I'm already roasted after like two hours of being in the sun I get up I look at myself in the mirror and my hair is orange but like not a little bit orange like bright bright orange like you have no idea i freaked out it was it was like it was like i had grabbed carrot juice and poured it all over my hair and that's what it looked like it looked like i had carrot hair juice and then getting out of that orange was difficult like i went through a stage of having like auburn hair kind after that, I had to dye my hair brown, uh, trying to get it back to my natural hair color. And I dyed it and it was like, the orange would peak out sometimes, you know, like it would kind of like peak through, like with time, like I would dye it and then with time it would like peak through again. So I would have to dye it again. And like, then I decided to get bangs and like, you know, the whole shebang, all of these things we do when we're younger that we have no idea what we're doing. And well, at least I have no idea. I mean, there's, I feel like younger generations now are so much more savvy because of everything they watch on the internet. But I also think it's kind of like a cool part of being young and messing up and learning from your mistakes, you know? I also think that's kind of like cool, which I'm not saying TikTok makes teenagers not mess up in life at all, because I think TikTok can be a really positive thing and a really negative thing. It depends on how you use it and what you use it for, you know? 
If you use Instagram or TikTok to just be looking at other people's lives and comparing yourself to those to those people, erase those people. Like if if you see an account that every time you see that account, it doesn't make you feel good about yourself, get rid of it. Get rid of that account. Like just stop following them. And it's not nothing against them. It's just like if it's making you feel insecure or it's making you feel something bad at all. That's not the whole point of using social media, you know? I like to use social media to learn more about certain things or to stay in touch with people that I love or just kind of like that, you know? But like, I don't follow anyone who makes me feel like I'm less or bad or, which it shouldn't be that way, you know? I Like, no one should, make that you feel less or anything like that and it's not like they say it to me it's just like let's say i'm like following models all the time and i'm just frustrated because i don't look like a model so like what's the point of like being frustrated because you don't look like a model like what is looking like a model nowadays you know like anyone can be a model nowadays which is great and that's amazing and i love that i love that People are just like being so much more accepting of different body types, different heights, different skin types, different everything, you know? I feel like the industry is becoming more inclusive, but that's just because we asked for it. Now I'm going with the Cloud Crush Blurring Blush in the shade Golden Hour. This looks beautiful. Ah. Oh God, I just broke my nail. Well, the lady's coming tomorrow, so thank God. It's tiny, but it's it's perfect. I don't need more. Let me just tap it off because I don't know how pigmented this is. It's not that pigmented, which is good because I like layering my blush until it's like not too pigment, um, until I get to the right pigmentation, instead of just dabbing a little bit and like, you know, I learned how to use like the, well, you don't have to be a genius to learn, but like I learned kind of how to use the rare beauty blushes that everyone was like, oh my God, what is going on when they were applying like three dots and just ending up like with a red face, with a clown face. I just, what I do now is just, I apply a little bit to the back of my hand and from that, I just tap it onto my face with my finger or with a sponge. So that's just a much better way of doing it than going straight onto your face if you're using the Rare Beauty blushes, in my opinion. In my opinion. So, okay, I think face is looking cute. This lighting is not being very helpful because honestly, I feel like I look so much better in real life not that i'm like oh i look so good you know i mean like as in like this lighting is just way too bright and it's making me look a lot paler than i am because um i'm looking at myself in the mirror in the little mirror and let me see if this works maybe this lighting will help me look more like the way i actually look right now and i think it does i think i look a little different so anyways, now after the now we're going with the cheek popper, which is a cheek blusher and highlighter. It's from the Pinker Times I had collection as well. I think this one's not this one this one's also I think from the Pinker Times I had. I'm not sure, but anyways, this one comes in Carter. It doesn't come in that super fancy metallic thing. Pinker Times I had. It's really cute. And let's just add some of this oh i am surprised let's i'm gonna swatch it for you guys so you guys can see oh it's really 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 beautiful wow this is beautiful but it's quite pigmented so let's go in carefully pigmented as in like it's it's very very high lady but i am not mad at this because it looks very very natural and beautiful i like this a lot I like it a lot, you guys. It smells like fruity pie or something like that, but it smells really, really good. I'm not sure what it smells like, but I 
I honestly don't mind scented products like when it comes to skincare and makeup. I know some people can't use it, but um, I love it when like makeup products like this are scented so deliciously because applying it just feels so uh, so luxe and so nice. So I'm pretty much applying highlighter all over my cheeks, not just on the top of my cheekbones. Just because since I already applied the mattifying powder, I really want to be glowy everywhere on my cheeks. So I'm still going to go in with a mattifying powder and mattify the sides of my nose. And mattify just like this area to kind of blur, but I don't want to blur the top, you know, where I applied the highlighter. So I just want to like blur right here, blur right here and blur a little bit right here and this zone. Perfect. Okay. So on to La Pièce de Resistance. It is the eyeshadow palette. This also comes in carton, but it's really beautiful. This is raised. Um, and look at the shades, you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so cute. I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's get going and get this party started with this eyeshadow palette. Uh, there's blue in this, so I don't know if I'm going to use that blue, but I'm going to swatch some shades for you guys and for me also, but I'm swatching mostly, actually only, the shimmer shades. Let's see. Let's look at the shimmer shades. Beautiful. Oops, I put it on top of the other one. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I like them. I like them a lot. This is going to be a cute little palette that I'm going to like a lot for sure. So I'm going to go in with this bronzy shade. Not bronzy. It's like a pinky but darker shade on my lid to create some depth. Oh, it's a little more pigmented than I thought, which is not a bad thing. There's not a lot of fallout. So I'm just creating some depth. We're going in with a really simple look today you guys um i just want to show you guys if this palette and the rest of the products are worth your time and your money and your effort you know so this this shade i really like as a base because it's between like a brownie shade and a rosy shade so i think it really works for um it really works for any kind of skin tone. Well, I'm not sure if I would be able to to go on very dark skin, but it probably would. But either way, the shimmers would go beautifully on dark, on pigmented skin. They would go on beautifully. So I'm just, this brush makes me look like I don't know how to do my makeup because it's very stiff. So it doesn't allow me to like flow the way I want to. Where is this from? Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I don't know. This this brush is just a little stiff and it's just making me kind of like get stuck in my eyes. Anyways, um, okay. So now for the top part. Oh, I can still add something that will give me a little bit more depth, which will be this Burberry color, Mul Mulberry, Burberry, what? It's like a berry color. It's darker for sure. I'm just adding it on the ends of my eyes. As I always say, I like to go from dark to light. That's just like, I like the gradient of that look. I usually never go from, from uh, like the opposite direction from from like light to dark, I go the other way around. Okay, now I'm looking a little clownish and I think this is whew, a little too pink for my my use, but let's just add it all over the lid. This brush is horrible, you guys. Don't buy this brush. Well, unless you have it already, maybe you love it, I don't know. Okay. We're gonna need to do some work because this is making me look a little clownish. I'm gonna add the same shade that I added at the beginning on my under eyes. Because once you add it to your under eyes, it kind of like makes the eye look more cohesive in my opinion. All right, 
let's see. This doesn't look bad in this mirror, but I feel like in the camera, it looks a lot pinker. I wish I could show you guys. Um, well, I can't, I can't show you guys, but it looks a lot pinker in, in the camera, like a brighter pink instead of like a more muted pink. It just looks different for sure. I'm gonna see what I can do with tweaking the lighting for the next videos so that you guys can actually get the exact color. And I'm actually gonna bronze up my face a little bit more because I feel like with such bright shadows, I need a little bit more bronzer because, um, yeah, because otherwise I look like literally like a clown. So yes, definitely adding more bronzer to my face. This shade, I should have probably gotten one shade darker. I think I got the lightest shade of the bronzer. And I said I like to work in layers from thinner to thin thickest, but I also don't like to go over 35 times to get the right shade. So I'm usually like a light medium. I'm not like a light light, even though I look super light in this lighting, but I'm usually like a light medium. Um, okay, this looks really gorgeous in person, you guys. So, if you're not liking what this looks like on camera, don't worry, it looks a lot better in person and you're probably gonna like all of these products because I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I think it looks gorgeous. So anyways, let's continue on with this journey. We're gonna go in now with a little bit of purple and add it to the center of the eye just to connect with the rest of the makeup, with the rest of the eye look. So a little bit of purple. And then I don't know which shadows to use for the, okay, I'm gonna go crazy and go with the green or the blue, should I? I'm gonna do green. Yes, I'm gonna do green. My fingertip, my finger barely fits in there, but it does. So I'm gonna go in with the green. And let's see what this looks like to you guys. Oh God. I don't, I don't, I'm like, um, I'm questioning all my life choices right now, but okay. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look bad actually. I think they made the shades to match, mix and match perfectly well, one with each other. It actually doesn't look bad at all. Um, it's just in the camera, it looks very different, but it doesn't look bad at all. So I'm just gonna add green to the other side. It looks very white on the camera, you know, but it's actually a lot greener in real life. It's not like a super dark green, but anyways. And thank you for whoever commented on my last video. I got, well, I got two comments. I think it was from the same guy and I responded, obviously, because I told you guys I will respond always when you comment on my videos. But thank you for everyone who watched that video because I was really in a deep hole kind of thing. I'm using this really light purpley shade, which looks beautiful for the inner corner. Okay. You know how some, some shadows are like chunky and they don't apply well? This one is applying well, but I'm also using this white one. Well, it's like a creamy one to also brighten up this area. So it's not just gonna be shimmery, it's also gonna be bright. And then I'm adding more of that shimmer. More of that shimmer over here and a little over here. And what else? I wanna add this pink, this one, and mix it in with the green. I'm adding it on the outer corner of my eye. And they mix perfectly well. It doesn't look weird. I'm like just playing around with makeup, you guys, as if I was a five-year-old. Like, it's like as if I didn't know what I'm doing. 
because these are not usually the colors that I'm used to using. But you know what? This looks interesting and fun and I'm not mad about it. Um, so now for my under eye, I'm gonna also add this kind of like dark shimmery shade, but it's not super shimmery, but it might be a little too dark. Let's see. No, I think it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, disco. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that same shade to the outer corner of my eyes. On top of the glitter, it's fine. The glitter will shine through. And this one's a little glittery too. So just on the outer corners, just to like exaggerate them a little bit more. And I'm adding this shade actually on my crease because I really like it. It's a little more muted, a little more brown. And I think a little more brown will look better. Yes, today I'm like, seriously, I feel like a child playing with makeup. I'm just like not doing the best job at all, but it's okay. I'm just here to have fun with you guys. So now I'm gonna line my eyes with the darkest shade that I can find in here, which I don't think there's a very dark shade in here. How about I line my eyes with blue? Yes, let's do that crazy thing. Let's line our eyes with blue. Oh, well, the blue is not really sticking too much to line the eye. A little bit, let's see. Look straight. Yeah, you can see it. Let's do the other eye, look straight. Whenever you wanna do a liner with a brush, you just look straight and stamp. I'm bringing the blue more to the inside as well. Yeah, you can you can probably barely see it from out far, far away. But if you see it from up close on what I'm looking at, um, you guys are probably gonna see it better in the picture that I take at the end of the video. Uh, that will be how the final look actually looks because I'm gonna try to fix the lighting for that picture and that will be how it actually looks like in person. So go with the picture that I uh, upload for the final picture, I mean, for for the, for the, the picture that goes on the video so you guys can click on it. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think I'm done with this palette. Yes, I'm, well, actually I'm gonna add a little bit of light blue as well under here and on the this little cup, cupid's bow on your eye is that what it's called no that's not what it's called but who cares all right so just right now i'm just gonna add my cosas mascara this is a long wear voluminizing and lash care mascara so this mascara has lash care ingredients, which is always good. Um, if you're someone who wears mascara every day, I will never let go of my tubing mascaras. I love tubing mascaras. If you don't know what a tubing mascara is, it's basically a mascara that is not waterproof, but once, but it doesn't get runny or flaky or anything, nothing at all. At least the ones that I've tried. The Thrive one is my favorite. But there's also the Kali Ray one, which is really good. This, let's see, let's see. I don't remember if I tried this and if I liked it or if I haven't tried it. It's a little bit of a curved brush. So I will never let go of my tubing mascaras, but I do like to try also other mascaras just because... Um, well, because I have to do reviews and try other mascaras and not just what I like. I have to try what everybody else also likes, you know? It's getting a little bit on my 
My lashes have been growing because I've been using Latisse and now every time I apply, well, I've always had long lashes, but every time I apply um, mascara to my eyes, it gets on my lids no matter what I do. Like, it's literally just the thing with my eyelashes and the shape of my eyes. It depends on the shape of your eyes as well, a lot. Like, if you have, like, a really big space in between your eyes and your brows or like if you have deep set eyes or not like mine are like almond shaped and they're there's not that much space in between so it always gets my lashes always get trapped and get smudged on the eyeshadow that i did but whatever I'll remove it with a spoolie. That's the best way to remove it. Don't remove it with your fingers, with your nail, with whatever. Try to remove it with a spoolie. It will be the easiest and the best way to remove mascara if you got it on your face somewhere where you don't want it. It will be the easiest way. I feel like I need a little bit more blush as well. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more blush because I feel like my eyes are too blushy and my cheeks are not blushed enough. So yes, definitely looks better with more blush. Always more blush. Ooh, 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 ooh. See, that's what I get for playing around. Today I'm just, ha since I'm happy today, you guys, when I'm happy, I don't do things as right as when I'm like, not in such a good mood, you know? Because I'm just like, oh, let's just play around, you know? And I know <laughs> I know you guys probably don't want me to be playing around and you wanna see like a real good review, but sorry guys, I'm just having fun today and I'm happy to be back here with you guys and why not have fun, you know? Like, I don't want this to be like a boring job, which I call my job, but it's, I don't feel like it's a job. Let me clean my lips really well ah, I still have foundation on them all right mm. okay so regarding this collection I think if you're into colorful but not too crazy like you know those like lines and that graphic makeup if you're not into graphic makeup but if you're into colorful makeup i think this collection will be really really great for you i think you'll love it i think you'll love the palette and that's it that's all i gotta say well i'm surprised the powder didn't smoosh up i'm using my heat uh lip gloss so anyways, you guys, we've come to the end of the video pretty much. And I'm going to be uploading more often now. I hope I feel good every single day or at least if I can feel good three times a week, that will be great because then those three times a week, I'll be able to film and just be here with you guys. Thank you so much for everyone who subscribes. I really appreciate it. There will be a lot more coming. I'm always making purchases. I have some new stuff in the line waiting to come to this place, this situation right here to get shown to you guys. So I have a lot of other products to review and I'll be reviewing them for you guys. So take care. I love all of you. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, liking. I appreciate it so much. Have a good night if you're watching this at night. Otherwise, have a good day. Bye, guys.